is shocked because this story was magic. Well, I've been doing this for 45 years. And, and done it quite well, by the way. Can well, I brag about you for a little bit? Sure. Beauty Thank and you. the Beast. Yeah. Uh, Aladdin. Yeah. So you know good characters when you see them. Yeah. Well, I was told by my mentor, don't animate what the character is doing. You animate what the character is thinking. And so the first meeting with Kobe and I is we sat down and I downloaded Kobe Bryant's top 20 greatest plays. I said, Kobe, I have to know what was going in your head, on in your head in every one of these shots. Who animates like that? Who sits down and says, I need to animate what you're thinking? Right. That's, that's and, like... And the amazing thing, Kobe's got this photographic memory of like what he was thinking through all of that. So we went through all of those shots and I really crawled inside of him. I mean, animation is... And there's room. Living, <laughs> yes. There's, there's room. room. Yeah. yeah. It's about living in the skin. Yeah. And, you know, I, I've been a mermaid and I've been a beast, but I never believed I could be Kobe Bryant. And the style that you decided to animate in is quite different than we're used to seeing. It's very old school. Yeah. Why did you choose that? Well, I think that there's a hand-drawn line is very expressive. I see a line that you make as kind of a seismograph of your soul. It's putting emotions out there that you feel. Kobe, right, well, right after his, his final game at 60 points, he sends me a text saying, we got to do this, but it's got to be hand-drawn, it's got to be rough, it's got to have that energy to it. This was his idea. This was his idea. Kobe. Wow.